Hi, I'm Kathy Rumine. This instructional resource will explore the ways in which Titus Kaffir's Next Haven Community Arts model meets the current moment at the intersection of the Black Lives Matter movement and postmodern anti-racist art theory to disrupt the ways in which white supremacy reproduces its power structures through our institutions. During the Black Arts movement of the 1960s, artists like Barbara Jones Hogu of Afrocobra called out the lack of representation in art spaces and the need to celebrate diverse aesthetics outside of the Eurocentric norm. Titus Gaffer's work expands this dialogue by illuminating untold stories and asking how art can amend history to record more complete and accurate narratives. Titus Gaffer developed a signature technique called whitewashing in which he recreates and then covers parts of historical paintings with a mixture of white paint and linseed oil. In this way, he shifts the gaze of the viewer away from the Eurocentric perspective of traditional art and towards marginalized or misrepresented figures. By subverting the compositional techniques that artists use to direct the eye, he reveals underlying structures of racism that impact current day na narratives. In 2019, Kafar broke ground on a new project called Next Haven in the Dixwell community of New Haven. Next Haven employs best practices of anti-racist community-based arts education, fostering dialogue, intergenerational collaboration, and transformative art events that inspire community action towards a co-created vision of a more equitable future. Examining Kafar's Next Haven through this instructional resource will provide arts educators a model of ways to go beyond assimilationist methods to truly anti-racist education, drawing on community assets and partnering with students to disrupt systems that perpetuate inequality. Thanks for listening.